What is happening? Good afternoon. Hope everybody's doing well. We are here at Dockweiler State Beach and it's a beautiful view. Look it is this. a beautiful view, except for the oil tankers or ocean liners or whatever. I think those are oil tankers. But other than those, it's absolutely gorgeous view. Lori got her ocean view right out the <laughs> front window, which is nice. Yay. We've got the bike path right here, and that bike path leads down to Venice, so why not use it? Let's Ready? Let's go and use it. We are now in Marina Del Rey, shooting on the GoPro, so it is what it is. Might be a little windy, I don't have a wind sock on this bad boy, but the marina is awesome. Lots of really cool boats here. And nope, we can't go this way. <laughs> we veered off of the bike path and we're now trying to figure out our way around the marina without having to take the bike path which is on the opposite side of the road. Well, that's a cool looking restaurant. We are back in an area of Marina Del Rey that I believe they call the Silver Strand. And I know that Jean-Claude Jean-Claude almost fell down there. Jean-Claude Van Damme had a uh, house back here. Uh, Rick Fox, the guy from the Lakers, and his wife, I can't remember what her name was. Oh, I think it was Vanessa Williams. They used to have a house over here. But very, very cool area. Very tight. If you're not used to super tight city living, then it's not exactly ideal, but pretty badass houses that I can hear. All right, we have made it to Venice Beach. The bikes are locked up. It's probably the last time we'll ever see those. <laughs> but no, that's not true. We're gonna grab some food and then walk around and check out the sights and sounds. We love this place. This is one of our favorite places. Okay, we are here in Venice Beach and we're just up the way from Muscle Beach and Lori, what happened here on this very spot about this, 11 and a half this years spot, ago? This spot in this very, like, single spot in the sand. Yeah. We had our first kiss. Aww. So, yeah, this was our first kiss spot was here in Venice Beach. We came down here on a date, or actually Lori was living here, I was living in Vegas, it so I come down and- our first day in the morning of Venice area. Yeah, that we just kind of were hanging out and uh, shopping and looking around and stuff happens. What can I say? Good stuff, but uh, <laughs> I don't know how you consider it. <laughs> One of the things I wanted to do while we are here at Venice Beach is come and get my pump on, but I didn't want to make these guys look bad, so. Those weights look heavy. I don't want to pick them up, put them back down. 
What do you think? Should I go get a workout in? Yeah, I'll wait for you. All right, well, you know, I think I'll do it later. Let's go. Along with a lot of interesting people here in Venice, there's some interesting homes and stores and stuff. Check this place out. That is really cool. Kind of like a little pod up top there that's a, like a crow's nest. And then the rest of it, a lot of very cool colors. A lot of really interesting colored homes, like that one there. And then down there, it looks almost like a, a pirate shack. So a lot of really cool stuff here in Venice Beach. Or you might hate it, I don't know. It's kind of cool though. We left Venice Beach, and before heading back to the campground, we decided to come over to the Venice Canals. And they have these canals that run through an area here in Venice. And I think that's probably why they call it Venice. It's very similar to Venice, Italy. And if you've ever seen the movie Valentine's Day, a lot of that was filmed here. So, pretty cool. And there's a swan boat. I bet properties in here are cheap. That was the longest bike ride we've ever done. Yes. So I think it was like 14 to 16 miles round trip. So for us, that's a lot. I know for Gina and George, you know, Mama, that's nothing. Yeah. So Gina and George bought it. If you're watching this, you realize that that's we're wussies. <laughs> but yes. us, more like 14 blocks round trip is a long way. But biking down there it was awesome along the beach it was really cool the bike trail runs from here all the way down to Santa Monica on the other side of Venice and then back the other way I don't know how far it runs but I'm sure it runs up past Manhattan Beach and all up through there so pretty cool and just a beautiful ride it, it's all fairly flat but uh, just a beautiful ride because it's all bike path it is it's uh, 22 to 24 miles so you can go left or right so that's kind of cool yeah total from one total, end to the other yeah yeah, yeah so but not bad. Right now, there's just a bunch of sailboats out. I guess it's the sunset cruise thing. I don't know anything no, about sailing. No, be something else. Like, it's too many sailboats. We will show you, but they look super tiny on camera. Like, they're very far away. But we are going to probably see the sunset because yesterday it was cloudy. And somebody told us that we can see a green flashlight once the sun touches the water. A green flashlight? A green light. Like somebody's going to have a flashlight? No, like a... A green a flash. flash. Yeah. Well, not without the light. Without the, the flash. <laughs> English is not our first language, so you we got to listen what I mean, not to what I say. There okay? you go. Absolutely. <laughs> I knew what you were saying. I just had to bug you on camera. Yeah, and it was Cheryl who told us that. Well, we've had several people tell us the green flash thing, and I don't know. I don't see it. You don't see it. I've, a, I've never seen it. They said they watch it. How cool is that? Hey. Ozzy's liking the beach. Look at him. He's just like on the Oz, pool. What's up, buddy? You kind of think like this is a giant air box, I think. Yes, I believe so. <laughs> We're out here on the beach at Dockweiler, watching the sunset, having some cheese and crackers and bread and stuff. Awesome yep. night, a little bit nipply. Not as warm as we'd like, but pretty nice. And we're watching dolphins. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 11. I don't know if you guys caught that, but there's some dolphins out there, so pretty cool. And we're waiting for the green flash. It's just about to disappear 
there will be no flash today because it's not quite clear enough. And just like that, the day has come to an end. I almost forgot to bring all you guys with us. The whole gang's here today. Hey! We're heading up to Hollywood and go check out a few things up there, get some delicious food, check out the Chinese theater, maybe hit the La Brea Tar Pits, a little Santa Monica. We're gonna do it all today, baby. All. Everything. Not, okay. not everything, we're gonna do a little bit, but. Mostly. Beverly Hills. That's where I want to be, living in Beverly Hills. As you guys probably saw as we were driving up here, that the place we are coming to is that. Hollywood Land. You may have seen that a couple of times in a movie or two or maybe a commercial or 60 or 80 but very iconic and we thought we'd pop up here and check it out as you can see we're not the only crazy ones up looking at a sign pretty busy up here everybody's in selfie mode We are parked here on Hollywood Boulevard. Let the chaos begin. And of course, the iconic Chinese theater. And this is where our cat, Ozzy, got his name. Lori, what state are we in? California. <laughs> We had to get out of the chaos that is Hollywood Boulevard and now we're gonna take a little cruise down Sunset. From the iconic Motley Crue song, Girls, Girls, Girls. Oh, there we go. Holy shit. There's a good way to ruin a Rolls Royce. off of Sunset and heading down Rodeo Drive. Kevin had a good question earlier. Why isn't it just Rodeo Drive? I think that's a good question. A fair question. Why in Beverly Hills is Rodeo pronounced Rodeo? Hey, are y'all heading down to the Rodeo? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. They heard somebody from Texas say Rodeo. <laughs> and they said, did he say Rodeo? Don't know where you guys are in the country and how much gas is, but in Beverly Hills, it's 440 for regular. So after a drive up Sunset Boulevard, a little cruise through Rodeo Drive, we decided to head on over to La Brea Tar Pits and check it out. 
We're not gonna hit the museum, but we are gonna just check out the tar pits. The La Brea tar pits, as you can well imagine, are pits filled with tar. <laughs> and the Wow, there you go. That dinosaur. Was quite the right, there. right. All right, we've got all the information here on this channel. And the dinosaurs, I guess, got trapped in this stuff and then they died. And they found bones for all kinds of different dinosaurs here. Now there's a museum and they talk about all of the findings and things. Oh, this looks really cool. Check that out. I guess that's where the museum and stuff is. You can see the tar and stuff bubbling up. Pretty crazy. So I guess not exactly dinosaurs were trapped here. It's showing animals from the last ice age. So dire wolves, saber-toothed cats, sloths, camels, Colombian mammoths, and American mastodons. So interesting stuff. Anywhere they have these cones in the park, there is oil and tar bubbling up from those. Pretty crazy. Oh yeah. You can even see the methane coming out here <laughs> nice try okay so this I guess is just more water than it is anything else but it looked like you made it angry and now it's really starting to bubble up <laughs> I wonder if we light a mat and then this one over here what but when Kevin touched it it wound up being more water oh no that's yeah, that's a little bit more gooey tar type consistency there. This project 23 here is the result of uh, building a parking garage for the art museum, which is right there, and they discovered fossils. So they filled 23 of these giant crates full of fossils, and they are currently still going through those crates and discovering new and new things about the the fossils and the animals and the the stuff that happened here from millions of years ago so really cool stuff this is pit nine and this is where they unearthed giant leg bones check out the size of the bones compared to that guy that is crazy what was that 27 mammoths in this one small pit You see this giant sloth, the closest living relative is the South American tree sloth. But these things were four and a half feet tall when they weren't standing up, so that's pretty crazy. Now as vegetarians and vegans, we don't have to worry about the tar pits because the tar pits only captured meat eaters. I don't know why, but they just captured meat eaters. Suckers! <laughs> Okay, if you need medical marijuana and you need it delivered, you can have Weed 24 delivered to you. And look, they're discreet. Like your neighbors wouldn't even know that they're delivering because your neighbors are gonna know. It's not very discreet. We have had a pretty full day in the Hollywood area. Some great food. Checked out the sights, saw the Walk of Stars, did the Hollywood signs, really cool. Lori thought what better way to finish than to come here to the Museum of Modern Art and see the LA Lights. It's a Los Angeles County Museum of Modern Art. Los Angeles County Museum of Modern Art. Yeah. Okay, cool, got it. And this is called what? Yeah, Urban Lights. Urban That's Lights. Cool. So very, very cool looking display, fairly popular. You can see a lot of people are here taking their picture, but this is where we are going to end this one. So if this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you hung out with us, got to know us a little bit, and that means hitting that subscribe button. It would be equally as cool if you liked the video, and we'll see you again soon in the next one. Bye, Bye now. guys, subscribe. Let's go check this out.